Hello everybody, welcome back to Mark's Beer Reviews. I always feel awkward coming in from that side. <laughs> it's just me starting my camera and just making sure it records because the amount of videos I've recorded, or that I thought I've recorded, that haven't actually recorded, you don't want to know. So it's just me double checking. But today we have got an Icelandic, I'd say it's a craft beer, Icelandic craft beer from Waitrose. Um, Oh, sugar, I should have remembered what the price was here. Hold on. I've got the receipt. I've got the receipt out of shot. There we go. Um, this is an Einstock Olgerd. Olgerd, there we go. Icelandic White Ale. What is an Icelandic White Ale? It is a wit beer, a wheat beer, a white ale brewed with Icelandic glacier water. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, this particular beer, I've got my Waitrose receipt here, was, where was it? £2.20. Um, £2.20 from Waitrose in a 330ml can. Big old Viking on the back there, look, there he is. What we should name him? What should we name him? Um, oh. Anyone watch Vikings on Amazon Prime? Oh, what should we name him? Thor. There we go. Thor. Traditional. There's Thor on the back. Look. Rah. Right. Um, what strength is it? I haven't even looked at the strength. The ABV. 5.2%. There we go. Um, pretty cool can design. Um, I mean, to be fair, <laughs> Icelandic white ales in a UK supermarket? Not bad. Um... I quite like my wheat beers. I generally, I speak generally. I drink German wheat beers. I had this the other day that was <laughs> blooming brilliant from Padstow called Lobster Tail. That was a Cornish wheat beer, and that was incredible. Um, so yeah, I quite enjoyed my wheat beers. Probably a beer that I probably a beer style that I don't drink enough of, if I'm honest. But hey, let's stop talking. I've stopped nattering. Um, let's crack the can open and get this in the glass. Here we go. We there we go, look. A few bubbles on there, not much smoke on the can opening, some soapy bubbles popping out the top. Let's get her all in then. Um, I have seen on the can that this has been brewed with coriander and orange peel. Um, so I'm obviously expecting those flavours to really do the work. There we go, it's a straw coloured hazy beer. Great carbonation that's kicking right off with a two to three finger white head. Let's get an aroma then. I'm excited for this. Don't know if I've ever had an Icelandic beer. I might have done, but yeah, not to my memory. Wow, spice, certainly orange, certainly coriander is one of those spices. It's peppery. Oh, there's something in there. There's something fruity in there that's not orange. And it's not like the ban typical banana uh, thing that you get out of wheat beers either. Maybe it's just sweet orange. It does smell blooming good, I will say that. I mean, that looks just fantastic, doesn't it? I mean, if, you're, if you get poured a, a wheat beer or a wheat beer, you are very, you're gonna be happy with that. Um, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Wow, that is fresh. There's almost like little to no mouthfeel in it. Jesus, that that water is insane. Um, <laughs> makes the beer very, very easy to drink. It almost slips down literally like a glass of water. I'm not even joking. Um, the carbonation obviously has died off a little bit, but you get the carbonation almost doesn't come into play because the water is just, it's just, it's weird. It's like so light. I was trying to get the 
savers and it's got another wrong hole. Oh dear. It's malty. <clears throat> it's spicy. You definitely get in the coriander, but the overriding flavour that runs all the way through. And even as, even as I speak now, 10 seconds after finishing my sip, <clears throat> it is orange. Um, but it's zesty orange, it's fresh. It really, really goes well with that clean, crisp water and those crisp malts. <clears throat> That's very, very nice. Um, excuse me, it's, what is it, 5.2% did I say? 5.2% and that drink's like a 4%, it's insane. Look how, look how quick I've drunk, nearly drunk a can of it. Jesus Christ. There's a bit of bitterness at the back end, but that tails off really quickly and it almost feels like with that orange peel, it cleans your palate. And because it cleans your, because it feels like it cleans your palate, you want to go in for some more. I mean, I've nearly done a can in like nothing. Uh, no time at all. Um, Jesus Christ. What a beer this is. For £2.20? Yeah, that's lovely. In terms of crispness, right? You know like when you just get those crisp straight up beers that are just Friday night session beers, six, seven, eight cans a night, a night, uh, on, a, on a night, <laughs> on a Friday, that is, that is doing it. <laughs> what beer, it's just, it's crisp, it's refreshing, it's almost like palate cleansing, it's almost like a sorbet, you ever go to those nice restaurants and they give you a sorbet um, between each course and it just cleanses your palate, it's normally lemon, and you just think, Jesus, it just sort of like fires you up for the next course. That's what that does. I mean, I've done a can in nothing. And I haven't meant to. It's just invited me back in. The spiciness, although it's brewed with coriander, it's subtle. And you don't get those, like I say, you don't get those big banana-y kind of wheaty German wheat beer flavours um, in this. Um, that orange peel works really well. It's super zesty. It's so fresh. And like I say, with the way the water is... It just, it feels like you're, it almost feels like mouthwash, that you're just washing your mouth out for the next taste. That is blooming good. Um, £2.20 for a fee 30 can. I don't think that's unreasonable, considering it comes from Iceland. Um, the country, not the shop. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, bloody hell. Open my eyes a little bit. Right, let's read the side of the can then. Our quest was simple. We wanted to make the best white ale we were ever tasted. We got there with the complex flavours of the classic whipped beer, including orange peel and coriander, all brewed with pure Icelandic water and a touch of oats that deliver a cool smoothness that is uniquely flavourful and refreshingly drinkable. God, that is absolutely bang on. That literally just sums up what I said. Um, Jesus, what a beer. Would I say, is it the most enjoyable wheat beer I've ever had. Probably not in terms of flavours, but drinkability, that is absolutely the best wheat, white beer, white ale, wheat beer, blanche beer, white beer, wheat beer, whatever you want to call it. That is probably, I've never had a more drinkable beer, white beer than that. Whit beer, you know. Eye-opening. Really, really eye-opening. Because the German, the big, the, you know, the German wit beers, they're, they're normally got a great mouth feel there, it's banana, it's spice, it's malty, it's it's more of a, a slog. Well, I say a slog, I don't, I, it's a slogging, to, it's, it's a slog compared to this. This was just ridiculously easy to drink. Um, yeah, is that my new Friday night tipple over a Hofbrau original? From Neil Waitrose it is, I think. That is just... <laughs> very very good um, what am I going to rate that then well I'm, I'm going to rate it in terms of how drinkable it is 
and the flavours work really well. Um, is it the best whipped beer I've had? Like I say, not in terms of flavours, but certainly drinkability. It's a four and a half out of five, I think. Um, it's just that, obviously, whipped beers that I know, this, this is almost like a different style of beer. It, it feels a different style of beer. Um, but yeah, this is very, very good. Four and a half out of five on Mark's Beer Reviews. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, have you been in... I think this has been around a little while. Have you had this and what did you think? Um, yeah, I don't know. I could see it being a bit divisive, if I'm honest. Just because it's so far away from the wheat, the white ale, or the whipped beer, you know, that, um, uh, not the normal European stuff. But when you're, if you're just judging it for what it is, I think that's fantastic. Four and a half out of them, four out of half, four and a half. Oh, I'm knackered. Four and a half out of five of Mark's Beer Reviews. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. I really do appreciate it. I literally watch the subscribers coming in on Ticker because um, I just value each and every one of you, to be honest. Um, and if you ever want to talk with me or anything, just get in the comments or message me on um, Instagram. It's marks.beer.reviews. Um, I speak to four or five of you on the regular um, and probably 10 of you um, guys sort of sporadically. I enjoy it. I like talking about beer. That's what I've got involved in it. So just message me on Instagram if you want to chat or anything like that. I am all ears. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.